Now, the Long Walk, walk Home, uh, Richard Pierce began to do a kind of a script on the Montgomery bus strike during the Civil Rights era. And in this one, a family uh, headed by Ruby Goldberg, her children, all of them refused to ride the buses to stop the whole prejudice that's going on down there, the bigotry. But her daughter tries to get on the bus, and the son tries to stop her or protect her, and some white boys just beat the pulp out of them. They go to church, and you'll see them going to church now, and here is what the church can become with its hymns. The hymn becomes a healing balm, a healing ointment on him. And it shows more courage in the one who is wounded than sometimes in other ones who are related to him. So The Long Walk Home by Richard Pierce. If you own a car, but you must be at work during the day, we have fine young men who can drive your cars, allowing you to still contribute to the boycott. And now the choir will sing, we're marching to Zion. Those of you who can help us with the car business, come forward during the singing of this song. Gilead. 
And Gilead is a biblical name of a place. And out of Gilead, there was an ointment, kind of a balm, a peace that could come to people who were wounded. And she is wounded, and she comes and works at the Spitfire Grill. And there's a crusty old woman who runs it. Her name is Ellen Bernstein, but she has an affection for little Percy. Ellen Bernstein, unfortunately, has a son who's a Vietnam vet, and he has gone kind of haywire. He lives out in the woods. He does strange little art objects, but he doesn't have any human contact whatsoever. So it takes this little girl, Percy, who has hurt herself to move out and to make the first human contact with him. And she sings the psalm, this old hymn, of there is a balm in Gilead. There is healing in this place called Gilead that begins to kind of unite them. find that the people who are hurting the most can reach out and heal other people. And it's through music, it's through the hymns that they're able to do this in the films.